Um, tonight is our is our second meeting um, on this hearing um, with uh, late development, and with that, I'm going to hand it over um, to Bob Cricklin uh, in order to take uh, take the lead on this. Okay, uh, we're back here tonight. Uh, I believe our last meeting was uh, January 30th, 2015, and uh, there was an appeal from that decision. Judge Namick did remand the. Uh, three separate issues back to the board for determination, which was uh, total square footage and metho methodology of uh, determining the square footage, which building code applies, whether it's the international building code or the uh, international existing building code, and uh, whether or not uh, the owner of the uh, subject property would be required to install a sprinkler system. Uh, at this point, uh, I've been handed a set of stipulations uh, by both parties, uh, which, uh, if accepted by the board, would uh, resolve all of the issues tonight. So those stipulations are, and I'll just read them uh, pretty much verbatim. Uh, for purposes of this hearing only, the board, uh, meaning the, this board before you, uh, can apply the international existing building code. Uh, the applicant, uh, Mr. Poole, stipulates that uh, based on his calculations under the international existing building code, the uh, maximum load would be 125 people. Uh, for purposes of this hearing only, uh, if the board applies the international existing building code, the board may waive the requirement of a sprinkler system with no formal objection by the township. And uh, finally, because we have uh, a new member here, I believe, that was not here at the previous uh, meeting, uh, the parties uh, agreed to uh, uh, allow the participation of the new member or members uh, without any objection. Um, have I correctly st stated? It, st it is the position of the township that a testimony was taken. Uh, the testimony that would be elicited would com comply with that decision. Stipulated statement of facts. That's correct. Okay. With that, uh, I would just uh, call for a motion. Uh, okay, I will. Uh, I will make a motion that we accept the stipulations that were uh, stated before us. Uh, okay, and if I could just uh, restate what that motion might be. Uh, that the, the board will apply the international existing building code. Um, that uh, it will. Uh, That's a 2009. If this one. Thank you. The, the 2009 international existing building code. Um, that the board adopts the applicant's calculation under the international existing building code of 2009 that the uh, maximum load uh, to be applied would be 125 people, um, that uh, any uh, requirement to install a sprinkler system uh, is waived, and again, there is no uh, objection by the township. So, motion is on the table. I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Wait, it's hard for me to like when everyone says aye at the same time. Does everybody say aye? Okay. Aye. <laughs> yes. 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 Okay. Okay. With that, things meeting to close. Thank you for uh, coming. So they file, they file the appeal with the township. Does the township have to accept the appeal and automatically make this board occur if they make an appeal, or is it? Well, yeah, yeah. If, if there's an issue, then it is going to have to come before the board. Who decides that it's an issue? The person that makes the appeal or the township that says, yes, this is a real no, issue? No, the, the applicant has the absolute right to go before this board. At any time for any yeah. decision made by any zoning officer or by the township? Yeah. Right. Can I? That's, that's <laughs> okay. Okay. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. All right. Good job. <laughs>